So was uh, MJ retiring the first time anything to do with his gambling punishment, or was it so he could go play baseball to grieve his father's death or his father passing away? So uh, neither one, neither one. Um, now, I'm going to tell you stuff here, and, and I know I know that you're not going to believe anything I say. And, and it's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I told Isaiah this when we did a podcast recently. It just doesn't seem to matter. What, what we talk about, I know, I know truths. I, I don't deal, I, I'm not dealing in speculation with any of these questions, you know, that you're asking me or, you know, Isaiah, why he didn't make the dream team? Why he, what, you know, did he, did he freeze out? George? People believe what they want to believe and intelligent people. Mm -hmm. my, my friends who know the game, they're going to ask the same question that you just asked. And I said, hold, hold on a second. You, you really believe that this happened? Now, you really believe that he got kicked out of the league for gambling? <laughs> so the answer is absolutely not. I'm not going to give you how I know for a fact. Although, I, you know, I, I did an interview with Stern after he retired. We talked about it at length, you know, and he, he totally shot that down. But I'm not going to share that part of it with you. But, but he... he uh, his father, he had made up his mind. He had made up his mind before his father died. He had made up his mind going into the finals, even before the finals, he had made up his mind to retire and, uh, and to go play baseball. And again, if you want to look up a column I wrote about Michael, I went and interviewed him while he was playing baseball. I went down to Orlando, Florida, and watched him play in a game. And, uh, and then I went to the hotel where the team was playing and I waited for him. He had no idea I was coming and he gave me a, a, an unbelievable interview. And, um, and I wrote at least one column, maybe two columns on that, on why he decided to quit. And he gave all the reasons, but people, you know, and they do the doc, they do the, you know, they, they didn't want to go there. They didn't want to, they didn't want to bring that up. All the stuff he said about Pippen and Grant. And, Mar and Jackson and the media, he blamed everybody. I mean, he went after Pippen back then. He, um, he made fun of, made fun of uh, Horace Grant because, uh, you know, that play where uh, Paxson, where Paxson hit the three-pointer to win game six, yeah. you know, and, and, he, and, he, and he laughed about it. He says, yeah, he says, he says, you know, Horace Grant had a layup. He could have had a layup, you know, to tie. He openly, he's always complaining about not getting – not getting any shots, and here he passed up a layup to throw it to a guy for a three-point. You know, that kind of stuff. He was angry at Pippen for always crying about this and that, and angry at, Mar at Phil Jackson because he would play the triangle for three quarters, and then, you know, if the team was down 10, 15 points, whatever, fourth quarter, Phil would go, okay, Michael, no, no triangle now. And, and Jordan and, and Kobe, the same way with Kobe. Kobe used to say that. He, man, what, what's going on, man? You know, the triangles, this, tri you know. And, and now we're down and I have to bring the team back. So they were both upset about that. So anyway, he had many excuses for leaving. He was angry at the media for the gambling, for, you know, harping on his gambling. Um, you know, so the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, but... What oh, you're going to give me a butt? <laughs> Are you really going to give me a butt? Go on, give me a butt. Uh, no, I was just saying, like, so do you know, like, what made him want to come back to the league again after, you know, for a why? second time? Why? You know, yeah. I mean, I, I knew why when I went down to see him play in that one game and I watched him play right field. And he is one of the, you know, the greatest athletes the NBA has ever seen. Yeah. And he's standing in right field playing <laughs> with himself, you know, it's like gets up four times. I think he had, I think he was one for four of the game. I saw him. So he, that, that was, that was the extent I, I don't even know if he had a put out. I don't, I don't know if he had a single to right field. We actually had to pick it up and throw it to second base. I, I don't remember that. All I remember is him like, there's Michael Jordan standing in right field. <laughs> Dunking yeah. on nobody. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, we're all glad he decided to come back. Yeah, so he came back. He decided to come back. And I was shocked, actually, you know, because of stuff he had told me. I remember saying to him, uh, you know, I, I certainly got into it. You know, you ever coming back? And he goes, no, no, definitely not coming back. And I said, I said, well, you know, you can't stay out two years and expect to. He didn't stay out entirely two. He came back and, you know, with 18, I think, games to go. But in the second year. But he said, yeah, I can come back and be the same player. I said, get out of here. He mm -hmm. said, yeah, no, I can. He said, do you realize that I, I could average 32 points a game and I only have to score eight points a quarter? He said, you yeah. don't think I can do that? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, exactly. So I, I said, okay, he talked me into it. But I was still surprised when he came back when he did. You know, because he didn't have time to really get ready for the season and uh, for especially playoffs coming up. You know, they lost to Orlando. Yeah. And I believe it was Nick Anderson who made a, a great steal on him at a pivotal part of that series. Well, I forget which game. So he really wasn't on top of his game. It took him to next year to to get it together.